Hello, welcome to this lesson in engineering circuit analysis. We're going to conquer this problem here, which is not too complicated, but it is a little bit different than the previous problems. First of all, I want you to notice that the uh, non-inverting terminal is just tied straight to ground. That's a very common configuration, actually. We're going to learn about it in a lot more detail in the future, so get used to seeing this terminal grounded a lot because it's, it's common. On the inverting terminal, we're going through an 8 kilo ohm resistor to a voltage source, V sub S. We have the feedback resistance that we usually have, in this case it's 100 kilo ohms. A um, couple of things I want to point out to this problem. The power supplies here, plus 15, minus 10. So this is an example of when we have an unsymmetrical or an asymmetrical uh, power supplies. So that means we can drive this output all the way to plus 15 volts, but in the negative direction we can only dr uh, drive it to negative 10 volts. If we get past either of those boundaries, we've saturated. So the output can only go to plus 15 or minus 10. Can't go any higher or lower than those numbers, basically. Second thing is, let's take a look at what the problem is. If the voltage source is negative 2 volts, it's supposed to be a negative there, I know it looks a little weird. Negative 2 volts, what is the output? So for part A, our strategy is going to be to use everything that we've learned exactly the same way. We're going to figure out what the current is through this resistor. We're going to use the constraints that no current can go inside of that op amp. We'll find the current through here and we'll find the output voltage that corresponds to all of, all of that. Uh, and then we'll, we'll figure that out. That's what we're going to do, uh, just as far as using first principles. Now notice that in this problem we have not drawn the current through the resistor on either one of these resistors. Sometimes the problems give you a current, like a reference direction, and you kind of use that. But in this case you're just given a circuit. You don't have, even have the currents drawn. So we're going to do that part ourselves. So that makes it a little bit, a little bit different uh, there. But at the end of the day that analysis is going to be really sim similar. Then we're going to figure out a totally separate question. What is the range of this voltage source that avoids saturation? And that will look a little similar to what we did in the last section. So we're going to figure out what is the minimum and the maximum value of this voltage source that will drive it all the way to plus 15 volts and in the negative direction all the way to negative 10 volts. What range of VS does that? that? That means that's the range that I have for my input. And that's extremely practical. When you devise a circuit or build a circuit, you have to know the range of inputs that you can drive it to to avoid saturation. So this kind of thing is going to be something you'll use practically. So let's go ahead and solve the problem now. We'll draw our reference currents. We'll write our equations. We'll solve for the output. And we'll figure out how this amplifier saturates. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to notice, as we said before, that this terminal, this uh, non-inverting terminal, is grounded. That means it's basically zero volts. So you can write yourself a little friendly zero volt reminder there. And because of the virtual short condition between these terminals, I like to go up here and write zero volts up there. It just helps me when I write my equations. The next thing you need to do is, I mean, you don't have to do this, but I like to write a reference